a familiar sound for Loughborough locals. Unknown below, it's Caroline alone playing the bells from above. When I'm up here and I'm playing, I know that I can be heard throughout the town. This is one of my favourite, it's a popular classic. Forty-six metres high, the Carillon Tower has been a part of the town's identity for generations. There's only 15 Carillons in the entire country, but this one's unique in a standalone tower. More than just a pretty tune, it's a memorial to the men from Loughborough who gave their lives defending Britain. At the base, the names of the 478 men killed from here in the First World War and conflicts since. It's the landmark centenary, 100 years since opening. Councillor Tillotson is lead for regeneration and towns at the council. 100 years is a long time. It's our war memorial and it's significant to many, many local people because it's a war memorial. But it's significant to everyone in Loughborough because it's a focal point in the town. The 47 bells were made in Loughborough and like most war memorials, paid for by its people. A deep connection still runs between the townsfolk and their tower. It's fantastic, it's lovely to still, it's still standing. I like to hear that sound of that bell ringing. Do you remember what it was like going up to the top? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, was it easy? Well, well, well you I, I were young. I was younger then, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Just run up, you know. Yeah, try it now. <laughs> Over the weekend, special recitals and events will mark the centenary. To be able to play it in this centenary year is, is a real privilege. 100 years at the heart of the town, a tower still standing in memory of the fallen who never got to hear it play. Will Hollis, GB News in Loughborough.